today I wanted to talk a little bit about a concept called micro-commitments. We've been talking about article landers a lot, article landing pages. Uh, I've mentioned reverse squeeze pages. And, and all of this really comes from a, a, the, the reason why they work is because of a concept called micro-commitments. And a micro-commitment is a way of getting a visitor to do what you want them to do, to do a bigger action. Give the analogy in, in farming. Sometimes it's really hard to get a cow or a horse to get on the truck. And they use a really long ramp, and they can get the cow or the horse on the truck by taking these small little steps along the way. So instead of just trying to get someone to go for the sale right away or to go for giving you their private email contact information, which, you know, sometimes we think that that's such a small step, but for some people that's uh, a very big step. And so these micro commitments are how you get people to give you the good information. And micro commitments could be anything from clicking a link to getting you to scroll down on the page, uh, getting you to create these little tiny actions and interact with their with the website until you get to the point and you the the smaller you make them and the you know the more you connect them the better it's going to work okay so yeah sequencing them uh, using the micro commitments and we were talking about article landing pages and the reason why an article landing page works so well is it's the concept of for commitments in the news feed or in Twitter or wherever it is that you're you're advertising if your ad doesn't look like an ad, you know, we've already talked about, then you're going to get more clicks. You're going to go under the radar and then they get to the landing page. It doesn't look like a sales page. And so they're just, they're going through your, your sequence and they don't even really know that they're getting on the truck yet. They, they're just walking right up the ramp. They don't even know they're getting on the truck yet. And then they click next. And by that time, they're already hooked. They already want all this stuff. It's a concept that HubSpot teaches. Uh, Shauna and I are actually, our whole company is uh, HubSpot certified. The concepts that they use in inbound marketing work really, really well for paid traffic as well. So what they teach is this tofu, mofu, bofu concept, which is basically just instead of having one opt-in, you're going to have multiple opt-ins that lead people up to the sale. And we've been using this for uh, a couple of years now. It's really, really helped us especially with the way that email marketing is changing these days, uh, you you can still just mass blast people, but it doesn't work as well. Today, if you want marketing to work exceptionally well, you need to have um, you know a segmented list that you email out to instead of just mass blasting everyone. So by using this tofu, mofu, bofu, you know, okay, so these people are not as qualified. These people are my cold prospects, my warm prospects. These are my hot, hot prospects that I should be mailing my offer to or getting on the phone with or sending bribes to, whatever you need to do to get those people. So a good tofu offer is something that, in this funnel, this picture is just kind of the best one I could find to illustrate the idea. Your, your tofu, which stands for top of funnel, is something that anybody in your market would want. For us, in the traffic space, uh, 202 traffic sources. I, in, in my space, uh, you know, people want more traffic, and so you know, here's 202 different ways. And that's something that any veteran and newbie would want. So it gets a lot of people into our funnel. Tools are, are much better than free eBooks or free videos. If it's something that's useful, like a checklist, a spreadsheet, a toolbar, a calculator, um, any of these really small things. And you can get calculators and spreadsheets and stuff like that made very cheap using freelancer.com or even fiverr.com. You can get these things created very cheap. And it's something as simple as just you know going out there and having someone look up all the different, you know, blogs in your market, looking up all the different forums in your market, all the different um, free apps in your market, and just collecting all that data and giving it away in a spreadsheet, 
or a checklist or you know a PDF of some sort, something useful. Now the MoFu is your middle of funnel and this is where you really start separating just everybody from the type of people you really want to be talking to. So for us, our MoFu offer is the, um, you know, how to get a million visitors per year to your website or uh, we have a retargeting report. And the retargeting report is separating just people who want traffic from people who want paid traffic because as, as an agency, we sell paid traffic. So we want to separate just all the traffic people from the people who are really interested in paid traffic, specifically one of the methods that our agency helps with, with which is retargeting. Now, the, the BOFU layer is these are people who could possibly want to uh, buy your product or hire you for your services. And so the BOFU level is a great place for case studies, um, great place for showing off the results that you've gotten by showing them, uh, you know, a, a video of how to do something. And then inside the video, you're showing them, for example, if I wanted to show someone how to create a newsfeed ad, if I logged into my account, I would show, you know, the great results that I've gotten on other newsfeed ads, you know, high CTR, big clicks, you know, by demonstrating a, a technique to them in a video, a technique that they want to learn, and then also showing them the results I've gotten is a great proof element. So that's another thing that you could do. Hustling, hustling, hustling. Every day I'm hustling.